At the infrasound laboratory of the University of Hawaii, we listen to low frequency sound in the atmosphere. In fact, this sound is so low, we cannot perceive it with the human ear. This infrasound propagates through the atmosphere for thousands of kilometers until it reaches our receivers, which are very sensitive microphones. The types of signals that we observe vary quite a bit. For example, on April 23, 2001, a giant ball had exploded between California and Hawaii. This bolide was so big, it burst with the equivalent yield of the Hiroshima explosion. Nobody was around to hear it, but we recorded it so we knew when and where it occurred. Other types of signals that we routinely record are those from big earthquakes. The December 26 Sumatra earthquake that generated the devastating tsunami was recorded by multiple stations in the Pacific and Indian Oceans. We first observed the signal from the earthquake. Then, this was followed by the underwater wave that propagates through the ocean and then shakes the islands. Finally, the low frequency sound propagating through the atmosphere arrived at our stations. The other type of sources that generate sound very efficiently are the interactions of open ocean swells. When these swells meet head to head in the open sea, they generate a very low frequency sound, like a huge speaker moving up and down. And we can record that sound with sensitive microphones anywhere on the planet.